Me. Karma slapped my ex right in the face. Background, married 16 years, together 20. Have three children together. Found out about her affair after hacking her phone and seeing messages that she had an affair with a co-worker. Broke it off and tried to fix our marriage, no go. Divorce filed October 2018, she moved out November 2018, and started seeing her affair partner instantly. Our divorce was finalized at 2019. She was still with her AP. Until last week. My ex calls me crying, and asking if I can take the kids again overnight. I asked what's wrong and if she is alright. She replies that, karma slapped me right in the face. She goes on the explain that she felt something was off, so she decided to go through her AP's phone while he was in the shower. Found a huge string of messages on Facebook with exting, pics, nasty talk, etc. The same way I found out about her affair. My ex is 39, he is 52, and his new AP is married and only 28. Now, don't get me wrong, I wanted to rejoice to the heavens that it finally happened to her. I told her from day one that the guy is a predator. However, after hearing her out, I understood that she was deeply in love with this guy, and the other half of me felt sorry for her. Ironically, she apologized to me more that day than she ever had about her cheating on me. Saying things like, I am so sorry I put you through this, and, I never realized how much this hurt you. I took those with a grain of salt, because I have moved on and found someone and we have been happily dating for the last six months. The point of this post, is to let everyone know that even going through the roughest divorce scenario, things will work out for you, and sometimes, karma will step in and give you a small piece of retribution. Now for some top comments. She wanted chaos and she got chaos. She found out that green grass was artificial turf. Now she understands, but it's way too late. Our lives cannot be fully controlled and calm but the choices we make directly contribute to the level of calm in our lives. Reminds me of my ex-wife, just like yours, she found out her AP cheated on her and separated. Series of apologies coming in, told her to, get on Tinder cause there are tons of F boys who are able to help her forget the AP, awesome response. What did your ex say when you told her that? Instant blocked, but I do commend her persistence after that, through my sibling and friends, but she got vilified by them. That was 9 months ago, last I heard, she moved back to her sister. Be the stability and rock for your kids. They need at least one normalized parent. This will likely begin a dating spiral for her, since she's attracted to unhealthy relationships. Also, don't let her in emotionally either, she may try to woo you back. You can tell she's broken emotionally and never been alone in her life, so the grasping at straws begins now. Agreed. I told her flat out that the ship between us has sailed. She can now wallow in her own misery that she created. Now for the next story. It's my karma, right? 14 years ago, I met a man and fell in love immediately. Come to find out he was married. He said it was a loveless marriage and that he married her because it seemed like the right thing to do at the time. They had one son, who was two at the time. He left her after our three-year affair. I found out I was pregnant and he told his ex that he was ending it. They finalized the divorce weeks before I was due, and we quickly got married. Because of the situation, we started out rough. Dirt poor and not a penny to our names. But we built a decent life with our three kids, and I became close to my stepson. The other night, I found a text on my husband's phone. It was the only message, so he clearly deleted others. It said, I'm falling in love with you when I know I shouldn't. None of this makes sense. If you aren't for real, please don't continue this. So, I looked at our phone bill, and whoever this was and my husband had exchanged hundreds of messages over the last 6 weeks. I confronted this person yesterday, and asked that they not contact my husband again. They did not respond. I confronted my husband and he told me he loved her. That he truly loved her, like he has never loved anyone, and that he has known her for a year, but until recently, she had brushed off his advances. He wants to see where it can go and he wants to leave. I begged him to stay for Christmas hoping that I can somehow win him back in this short time. I know I shouldn't want that, but I want my family. I deserve this, huh? I deserve this for what I did. This is what karma looks like. I'm going to lose everything again for a man that I should have known would never be faithful no matter how much I loved him in the way he said he needed. Now for the top comments. Yes it is. Years ago, when I fell for my wife, I believed her when she told me her marriage was over, just the divorce wasn't final yet. Yeah, her marriage was over in her head, 
but her husband didn't know that. I didn't know the whole truth at the moment, but the trickle truth came out over the next couple years. I felt bad, but at this point, I was head over heels in love with her, and we were living together. I just kept telling myself he just wasn't the right guy for her, and I was. Fast forward 10 years. I catch her having an affair with a co-worker. I'm heartbroken. It was going to destroy our family. She tells me, you just don't like it because you're on the other end of it this time. My attorney also told me that it's my karma coming back to get me. I don't know if this is karma, but it does feel inevitable. Not sure why OP is particularly shocked. You married a person willing to carry on a three-year affair, and they then cheated on you. Shocked Pikachu face. Cheaters that cheat with you, will cheat on you. I don't understand how people can't grasp this concept. All cheaters are liars, full stop. Those kinds of people make an art out of making the new squeeze feel special. It's easy to fall for it, you haven't seen how it plays out in the long run before. It's a crummy lesson to learn, but I don't think it's karma for the person getting hurt. For example, I'll never go out of my way to get to know the women my ex-husband cheated on me with, but I know he was feeding them a bunch of the same crap OP was, she's toxic and doesn't try to understand what I'm going through, it's been over for a year, we're just waiting to finalize it, what we have is special, I did everything I could to fix that marriage, but ultimately I couldn't. They martyr themselves and paint this image that they were the partner who tried to make things work and couldn't, and try to make their former partner the bad guy. I don't blame people for being manipulated by jerks like these. It still hurt, but what makes me sadder is that it just keeps happening. Well, they say if they cheat with you, they cheat on you. His nature is to cheat. He'll cheat on her too. Wrecking people's lives as he goes. This reminds me a rather accurate piece of dialogue in the movie Scott Pilgrim. Ramona, you've cheated on me with knives? Scott, no. I've cheated on knives with you. Ramona, what's the difference? Next story. I think he's doing the same thing to her, or I hope he is. Background for info, X and I were married for 15 years. Separated end of 2018, divorce finalized January 2020 due to state requirements. After our separation, I found out he was cheating. I'm pretty sure he's now married to his affair partner. If not married, they are at least engaged. I'm also moved on. Been with the most amazing man now for 19 months. I was able to move on relatively quickly, given our marriage was dead for a while pre-separation anyway. Anyway. I still have a joint checking account with my ex. I've asked him numerous times to take care of removing me from the account, but he has yet to do it. I may have to do something about it myself. I should teach him a lesson and just withdraw the money, but I just don't want that fight. Since I still have access, I do sign into the account from time to time, just to make sure he's got enough money in there to send me my monthly spousal support. Well, the last time I checked the account, I saw a few, very small, payments made to only Fs. Now I don't use only Fs, never even looked at it, but I've researched what it is and seems like it's pretty much nothing but adult vids. I suppose there might be some non-explicit material on that site, but knowing what he did to me, my money's betting on is using this site for adult contents. Even if he's using it to just look at content, why bother paying for stuff when there's so much free materials out there? This is the beginning of emotional cheating, which he definitely did to me during our marriage before the physical cheating. So. Here I am making the assumption that he's cheating, or will cheat on his new wife, just the same way he did to me, and all I can do is laugh. Now for the comments. Consult your lawyer, take out the money they say you're entitled to, then contact the bank and remove yourself from the account. The schadenfreude is obviously nice, but there's no need to be caught up in his freak show any longer. Nah, if I was in her shoes, I'd see it through. Insert feels good meme. At least you have the excuse of not knowing he was a faithless tool. She stole something that was already broken. I'm so glad you found somebody. To love and be loved is not so much to ask after all, is it? The only person with some common sense to reply. Thank you. I don't necessarily consider that his affair partner stole him, he did actively choose to leave. I'm not quite sure if she thinks she won him though. She didn't win. I won by losing him. She can have a life filled with constant worry and doubt. Once I realized separating and divorcing him were better than staying with him, I've been living my best life. Screenshot the bank statements, print them, and mail them to her. Make sure you are off the account first. Throw the live grenade and walk away. I would upvote this a million times, lol.
Now for the last story. I found out that my ex is retelling a clean version of what he and his pregnant affair partner did to me, to some friends and other family members. Making it look like a clean break. But I took it upon my hands to tell everything to his friends what I knew. Every freaking detail. I've unfriended these friends of his in social media before his engagement to his affair partner, in order for me to avoid possible triggers of his memories to me. They treated me well when they knew me, and they too wondered why I wasn't the one my ex is now engaged to. They expected it was me, and they felt thrown off the first time they knew after seeing their announcement on social media. They knew something didn't sit right. It's been two weeks since my ex and his pregnant AP announced that they were engaged, and after much thought, I tried to reach out to this handful of friends and ask them outright what they knew. They were so shocked at the harrowing details. And sick to their stomach. They too wondered why I unfriended them before. They thought my ex and I ended on good terms. But no. He doesn't get to retell this BS on his terms. Telling a handful of his friends that I knew, is enough for me. And it lightened the burden I am carrying even for a little bit. I'm still completely no contact with him and his family now. And I took this time to explain to these friends, that I didn't want to really disconnect with them. It was just the circumstances. They too want to keep me as their friend instead of my ex after knowing everything, and they are disgusted to their core. They haven't met the girl he was marrying either. They knew hands down I was a good woman to my ex. And that kept my head up a little bit, even if I reopened my wounds to them. The validation and the comfort of letting the truth out, helped me. Other people would have posted about what they did in social media, to get the so-called trial by publicity. But I couldn't do it because it might be sensationalized. I don't want him back at all. I just wanted to be able to defend myself. Because seeing their engagement and the people happy about it, disturbed me a lot. I just thought this was something subtle I could do to defend myself. Especially to people who knew about us, and witnessed our relationship too. They knew in their heart something was wrong. But they weren't told the truth. Posting anonymously here in Reddit also helped me a lot. I thank everyone for the advice and support I've been getting. Every day is still a struggle, and it's only been two months since our breakup. But going no contact is helping me a lot, though I am still mentally disturbed by the events. Work distracts me well enough too, and friends and colleagues are 100% supportive. I haven't told my parents the disturbing details too, only the part that he was having an affair. But they do not know that he's now engaged to the girl he cheated on me with and got pregnant. I want to protect their sanity as my parents. Some friends do encourage me to tell them, but I'm still contemplating when. Maybe when I feel more healed? Any advice on this? I cry less frequently now, though it's still every day. There is also physical pain. What gets me through is praying, and venting to friends and colleagues. I've been working out too. Cycling and high intensity interval training. We'll try boxing soon also. Every day may be a struggle, but every day is another day towards healing. Now for the top advice. Good, you did the right thing. You're under no obligation to keep this quiet and save his reputation, the people he associates with, deserve to know their friend is a snake. Hang in there. I'm glad this makes it feel easier. Keep talking about it as much as you need to. And also try to treat yourself well. It's really great that you're getting into working out. Maybe you could foster a puppy or get into volunteering, or just treat yourself to some new clothes. Something nice for yourself that brings you happiness. They wanted to know the truth. And I think it makes them feel better that you unfriended them to avoid heartache, not because you hated them or anything like that. As for telling your parents? The sooner they know, the sooner they can help you. Better to hear it from you than to hear about the engagement or wedding from someone else. Word gets around, even if your two families are worlds apart. Your parents might be your strongest support group. My mom hurt when I hurt, but she would never want me to suffer in silence. If your parents are like her, tell them. My situation was slash is similar. My wife cheated, acted suspicious for weeks, I caved in and checked her smartwatch where I found evidence of an affair, and plans to continue it. Left her and got a lawyer immediately. Within three months, she was engaged again to some other guy, not the affair partner, new on the scene altogether, she's a busy girl. In the beginning she played the victim. She blocked me on everything so I couldn't see, but I had some spies showing me that she was posting BS, about it being okay to leave a relationship if it doesn't feel right, as though that was what she had done, and that she is stronger without me, hinting that I was an abuser etc. So, I told everybody everything. I sent screenshots of her filthy conversations with multiple other guys to her mother, including the messages about how much he came inside her, very graphic, 
and her whole family. I told her best friends, her cousins, workmates, everyone she knows, plus all of my friends and family too. She has nobody now, her friends are now my friends, and her entire family, except her mother, want nothing to do with her anymore. The truth will set you free. Let it all out. That's what they need, the need to be outed as the scum they are. When the truth comes out, they scramble like roaches when the lights come on. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like.